It's a mind-blowing legal news day involving former President Donald Trump and current President Joe Biden. When we originally booked our first segment, the plan was to focus on Trump's immunity hearing at the D.C. Court of Appeals yesterday. But then all hell broke loose in Georgia on that story that we brought to you. No one was covering this yesterday. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution broke it. We picked it up. Now it's everywhere. You're welcome. <laughs> and there's a lot more to talk about on that case. A lot more on whether Fannie Willis, the DA in Georgia going after Trump and 18 others, and her alleged improper affair with the special prosecutor she brought in, who then took her on several alleged romantic vacations in which she benefited by enjoying, enjoying the, the, the sights and sounds of Napa, among other beautiful places, on his dime, potentially, could sink the entire Trump election interference case. There are legal experts now predicting the whole case will go away. I'm skeptical of that, but I think Fannie Willis is going away. Uh, we'll get to all of it. On top of it all, as we're preparing all that for you, a short time ago, Hunter Biden shows up, unannounced on Capitol Hill, crashing a House committee hearing about holding him in contempt of Congress. This is a massive middle finger to everybody involved in this. The first son and his attorneys sauntering in, sitting down. Hey, we deserve to be here. They waived their their opportunity to appear at the subpoenaed deposition they wanted to take of him. And now when they decide whether he should be held in contempt, he saunters in like the prince. I'll sit here and I'll listen and let's see what you'll do about it. South Carolina Republican Nancy Mace called him out and probably got called out herself. Watch. Um, first of all, my first question is who bribed Hunter Biden to be here today? That's my first question. Um, second question, you are the epitome of white privilege, coming into the Oversight Committee, spitting in our face, ignoring a congressional subpoena to be deposed. What are you afraid of? You have no balls to come up here and- M Mr. Chairman, point of inquiry. Whoa. Mr. Chairman. Um, if the, the lady recognizes- If the general, if the general lady Christ wants to hear from names? Hunter Biden, we can hear from him right now, Mr. And Chairman. Let's take a vote Christ and hear from I'm Hunter speaking. Biden. What are, are you afraid of? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Order, order, order. Are women allowed to speak in here or no? Are women allowed to speak in here or no? Did you keep interrupting me? I'll interrupt the chairman. You keep interrupting. I don't know that he's a lady. Whoa. Never heard anybody yell balls at a congressional hearing. I think it's the first- Oh, so the fact checkers will check it out. Uh, and just when you thought it could not get any more wild, Georgia Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene started talking and Hunter got up and just walked on out. For five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, excuse going? me, Hunter. Oh, apparently you're afraid of my going? words. Whoa. Uh, here <laughs> oh. I'd like to reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. Wow, that's too bad. You see, when you're a Biden, you get to decide when you're going to show up in front of Congress and when you're not. It's up to you, even if you have a subpoena, even though Trump is being prosecuted right now by Jack Smith for defying a subpoena. But when you're Hunter Biden, it's fine. And even when they hold the impeachment or the uh, the, the the hearing figuring out whether you should be prosecuted for blowing off your subpoena. You can just wander in and wander out at leisure. It's great to be a Biden. By the way, we believe, though are not entirely certain, that the person who said, oh, too bad, is Republican Congresswoman Lisa McLean. Um, okay, after all that, CBS News then posts this video, a reporter asking why Hunter was leaving. Why are you choosing to leave now, Mr. Biden? Why not stay a while? I have a statement to make to the press. I can't hear what he said. What did he say, guys? Do we know? I couldn't hear it. Okay, that was Abby Lowell Hunter's attorney saying that he would make a statement. But as Abby Lowell tried to speak, they were interrupted by questions like this. Quiet and let me make a statement, okay? What kind of crack do you normally smoke, Mr. Biden? Oh, boy. What kind of crack do you normally smoke, Mr. Biden? Oh, no. Things took a turn. Oh. At least one reporter did try to do her job and ask Hunter 
while she had him, hello, this was the right thing to do. I think this was a Fox News reporter, uh, about his father's involvement, Hillary Vaughn, in his overseas business dealings. And Hunter actually responded, hello, news media, this is the way to do it. Don't waste time with stupid ass questions about what kind of crack did you smoke? Ask a probative substantive question. You might get a real answer like we saw here. Watch and listen. Mr. Biden, why did you put your dad on speakerphone with your business partners if he had no involvement in your business? Do you have a dad? Did he call you? Yes. Did he the phone? Yes. Okay. But why did you need to talk to him during business meetings if he had nothing to do with your business? Whoa. Right. Good job. That's the question. She's absolutely right. It's not that he's generally taking phone calls from his dad. It's why did it need to happen during your business meetings over and over? Smart question. Good job to Hillary. Big news from Bonner Wines. This is only for true adventure seekers who are looking for more in their wine drinking experience than your grocery store big box wines. The Bonner Private Wine Partnership is releasing a wine so rare, it sells out practically every time it's been available. They invite you to come on an extraordinary journey to a remote vineyard where a never before imported gem has wine enthusiasts everywhere raving. Picture this, altitudes of up to 9,000 feet Grapes defy nature's harshest challenges up there, thriving somehow in poor soil, enduring extreme UV rays, facing thin atmosphere and volatile temperature swings. The result, this one of a kind, extreme altitude Malbec. Now I have arranged special access for my listeners to get a bottle of this rare wine. Here's how. Visit Bonner, B-O-N-N-E-R, privatewines.com slash MK and become a member of the Bonner Private Wine Partnership. But act fast, you don't want to miss your chance. Visit bonnerprivatewines.com slash MK now for wine at 50% off plus free shipping. Bonnerprivatewines.com slash MK today to get your wine delivered directly to your doorstep. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.